This wasn't a demonstration, this was demolition, rebellion and revolution, anarchy, devastation. The unwashed masses condemning the condemned coalition. Students combining their attempts to halt the PM's vision, a fight for higher education, a very learned mission. This wasn't a demonstration, this was demolition. The marching horse descendants with their placards and their boards, some had traffic cones on their heads, others, was bra others brandishing pipes of made of lead and spades in a crew's tent to get their points made. Talk of Gapyar and Chunder were heard on the streets of the RSPCA, how to be green, but these were drowned out by thousands of voices shouting, Clegg, put the end in cuts, and I'm moving to Aberdeen, to Edinburgh, to Glasgow, fuck it, let's move to the Outer Hebrides. Anything to get away from tuition fees. There were, talk, there were calls for Clegg's head, a return to the red, before the spending review, before Osborne, Hay, Hay, Cable, or Hume, before the yellow, before the blue, when the Liberals were yet to break through, and when David, Margaret, Cameron, and Thatcher was just the leader of the opposition. This wasn't a demonstration, this was demolition. Deceit, betrayal, treachery, hypocrisy, and still we are yet to hear an apology. And the Deputy Prime Minister voted in favour. We believed in you, Nick. We thought you were our saviour. You were our, we thought you had a plan. You were our messiah. It's just a shame your middle names are Judas and Liar. But remember, Mr. Clegg, as, we, much as, we, as much as you hide in the Conservative shadow, as we were your past, we are your tomorrow. There were police on horses as the kettle thundered. It spat and it smouldered. It smashed windows and climbed on memorials as protesters protested shoulder to shoulder, immaterial age, race or social standing, or just fighting for what they believe in, full of youthful passion, heart, ambition. This wasn't a demonstration. This was demolition. A break here. A cameraman, outrage at number 10, David Cameron's precious bike has been stolen once again. And then he waited the royal parade, stopped dead by an educated crusade. Charles and Camilla were severely dis delayed. The car was kicked, the pair confused. The Duchess uttered, we are not amused. The Daily Mail went totally crazy, realised students weren't so lazy, the tax came quickly, the headlines faster. Teens hate Queen and students cause cancer. Undergraduates kill Diana. Even Jan Wire had a story of her own. Students are unnatural as this behaviour shows. But this wouldn't stop the exhibition. This wasn't a demonstration. This was demolition. So maybe the protesters failed. But at least they tried. They stood up and defended their beliefs with pride. They may not have prevailed, but they showed the ruling parties of Great Britain that this wasn't a demonstration. This was damaged.